on my way to the dentist. Been putting it off. Today is the day. There he is. How you doing, bud? I'm good. Well, we're done with the dentist out in the A. The bridge, my teeth are not very good because when I was a baby, I got really, really sick. My mom said that my life was on the line and they gave me some medicine, saved my life, and destroyed my teeth. So I've always had that battle, struggle, challenge. Me and the dentist, we're like best friends. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done for now, but I gotta do the other side. Back to the office. It's a beautiful day. I wish it stayed this temperature instead of getting like back up into the high 80s and humidity. It's Christmas, it's supposed to be cold. Uh, Amy, have you cooked cookies yet? No, I made chocolate, um, ch yeah, chocolate covered crust. No, oh. um, Ritz crackers. Ooh, I've never had that before. With peanut butter. Inside. It's good. It's good. Mm. <laughs> Here in my office and I wanted to show you two incredible books that I have. I picked them up in Ireland years ago and here they are. All right, Take it over here on my desk. There's one and here is the other. Now here's the interesting thing about these two books. One is how good a shape they're in for how old they are. Let me show you how old they are. This is a new family Bible, Old and New Testament notes and illustrations by the Reverend Matthew Henry. What is the date in which it was published? Can you see that? I don't know if it's coming in. I'll try to get it in focus. 1812. This Bible was printed in 1812. Is that amazing? The binding still in good shape? 1812. Now, it's not just the Bible. It's also the commentary. This is a Matthew Henry commentary. And if you study the Bible, you've heard of Matthew Henry. They still print them today, actually. But it's also got... Um, the history of this family and you can see it says they were born in 1836 born in was born in the year 1818 12th of january elizabeth jewel william jewel born in 1820 it's just amazing let me show you something else that's pretty cool here in my office these boots right here are the boots that I wore when I got into a car for a series we were doing and I was blown up. The car exploded. Let me show you. What makes you feel like a daredevil right now? Well, I'm getting ready to do what daredevils do. So I just hope I come out on the other side. knowing that Pastor Troy, this is his first time experience. What were some things that were going through your head? He did an amazing job. I'm really, really proud of him.
Well, we were able to get some gifts wrapped today. Christmas is just a few days away and Bailey is our official gift wrapper. She does an incredible job. Thanks so much for watching the vlog. It's an honor, really humbling for you to travel along and uh, see some of the things that we do in between the study, in between all the services and meet some of the cool people that we get to do life with. Now, give me a thumbs up subscribe, maybe even share the vlog with somebody. I'll catch you on the next vlog because this one is over. Oh, nice, one more. Oh, who taught you that? No one. Oh, did, did your dad teach you that? No. Mm, that I, was... got, I got my stuff to do it. Oh, very good, Levi.